Meghan Markle and Prince Harry put on a dazzling display as they arrived in Whistler, Canada, to promote the Invictus Games, with both wearing winter weather gear. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Info Mate. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Meghan Markle is letting her husband, Prince Harry, take the lead while taking a huge step back, according to a body language expert. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were seen putting on a united show as they hit the slopes in Vancouver, Canada on Wednesday, February 14. While they weren't skating, Meghan, 42, was wearing a cream quilted jacket, a black beanie and sunglasses, while Prince Harry, 39, was wearing blue jeans, a dark jacket and a grey hat. The couple looked united and tighter than ever, a body language expert has revealed. Analysis of the pair on behalf of Betfair Bingo, body language expert Darren Stanton shared his thoughts on the duo following their joint appearance to promote the Invictus Games. Speaking about Meghan's body language, Darren said the Duchess of Sussex was fully invested in supporting her husband, as she took a step back and allowed him to take the lead at the event. The body language expert also claimed that the power couple had turned over a new leaf displaying complete authenticity and togetherness. Darren said, there have been some clear differences in how Harry and Meghan get along in recent months. For too long, the spotlight has seemed to be on Meghan, as she has always been front and center. It seems as if the roles have now been reversed, as she is very interested in supporting Harry. She is no longer interested in taking pictures for the sake of it. Nowadays, she is fully invested in supporting Harry and focusing on good causes. He continued, this was definitely reflected in their body language yesterday. I think one of the most powerful scenes was when Harry was shaking people's hands and Meghan was behind him. She's usually in the lead, but since she knows the Invictus Games are his pride and joy, she's letting him take the lead. This is one of the most obvious signs that she's only interested in supporting Harry. She wants to take a step back and let Harry take the lead, which we call the gesture of observation. As a couple, this is Harry's own project, she's letting him take center stage. Now, Meghan seems more relaxed and is throwing herself into the Invictus Games and supporting Harry. Following the launch of their new website, Angela Levin, Queen Camilla's biographer, described the couple as pathetic and told The Sun, they are profiting off of their royal connections which they say they hate so much. Queen Elizabeth II will be angry because they promised they wouldn't do that. They should be banned from using the title they have spent years insulting. Following the website's launch, it was revealed that Harry and Meghan had also changed their children's surname to Sussex, having previously used Mountbatten Windsor as the last name of Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe for more.